Hello, and in this video, I wanted to cover uh, two things. The first is the views that you would see between an admin user and the views you would see between just a regular user who doesn't have admin privileges. And the second thing would be the differences between the tier one uh, events and then the tier two, tier three events. So let's get started by just tapping on the trophy cloud icon, which is the gold app, uh, the gold trophy, the blue background here on the iPad. And we'll do the same thing here on the iPhone. So basically what you'll see here is the same views, no matter whether you're an admin or a, uh, or a non-admin, just a basic user, um, obviously, the iPad uh, would have more real estate because it just has more screen to show you or display more information. Uh, but if you look at the top there, the very first um, event, there's the Chicago Crossroads Corvette Club meeting. Um, that meeting is on November 4th. And as you can see there, uh, that particular tile, that would be the uh, tier one uh, of you that you would see the free view. And then the uh, the second one, the general club meeting, and then you'll see in blue uh, lettering there, Chicago Crossroads Corvette Club, that's the tier two, tier three uh, view that you would generally see. So this is how you know that it's ho hosted by a particular organization as opposed to some individual who's done this, uh, set up this particular event themselves. So one of the things I wanna do is just click on the top uh, tile there, the Chicago Crossroads Corvette Club meeting on both devices. And what you're going to see, same information, whether you are a uh, admin or regular user, you'll see um, basically your joint event forums, the location hosted by attending, and then the general information there. So if you look at the hosted by, that's kind of the dead giveaway there. If it has an individual, that means that person is hosting the event on behalf of that organization. So um, if you're not really sure if this person isn't part of this organization, you might want to contact them if you happen to know the club and just get a little bit more information. But here you can see that there are two people attending and those two people there <clears throat> uh, outside of the event creator are these two folks, uh, Newton Brawley and then Lee Ross. So we're going to come out of there. But you'll also see here, uh, the only extra thing you'll know uh, the iPhone is the person who is the uh, event admin because they can see the cancel event there, whereas the non-event admin on the non-admin uh, user, um, a regular user doesn't have that cancel event at the bottom. Uh, so let's come out of that and let's go into the tier two, tier three event here and you'll see some subtle differences there. Again, it's the same thing, but the only difference is, is that it's hosted by an organization. Um, and we'll go into the iPhone here. Again, same thing, but as you can see, the only difference here between the um, admin user and the non-admin user, so the admin user, again, is the iPhone, the non-admin user on the tier two, tier three event, in this case, is the iPad, um, that's the white device there, is the open rating cancel event. So if you open the rating there, you can be able to control when you can start the registration process. Um, in this particular case, the event is all the way up to December 2nd, but that doesn't stop individuals from uh, joining your event. This is just so that you can start checking them in, start performing the judging process and all that. So we're gonna say no here. But if someone were to join, in this particular case, this user here, um, let's say we want to have Ricky Bobby join it. So I'm going to have Ricky Bobby, who is this user and the iPad, join this event. Now you can see that the event spots went from 200 to now 199. If I were to come out of this event and refresh by just pulling down, and going back into the event, you'll see there's one person going and it'll have that Ricky Bobby there, okay? Um, so uh, that's just kind of some information there just so you get an understanding of 
what you would see if you were a regular user as opposed to someone who's an admin user. Uh, if you open the rating and you selected yes, um, the open rating would change to a different control. It would become a red button, like kind of like the cancel event, and it would say close rating. And at that point, you can open and close at any time. You only get this particular warning once. Uh, and that warning is prior to the event, once you state that you want to do this, at that point in time, you can open and close and start the judging process prior to the event if you, you want to. But understand, once you do that, you will not be able to uh, move the date of the event. Um, if you were to go into set event <clears throat> and go into the pencil here, uh, we allow you to move the event up to a couple of times, but if you start the judging process, uh, you will now no longer be able to change forms. You will no longer be able to change the start date. So that's just a little bit of information for you, just in case you do start this process early. Uh, that's pretty much about it. Um, we can talk about some more features in more coming videos, but for right now, that's it. Thanks. Bye.